Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I want to show you how to draw a Sonic the Hedgehog surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Sonic surprise fold, we are going to begin by folding our paper. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my paper and we want to fold it in half just like we're making a birthday card. So we're just going to line it up. I'm going to press it down just like this. Then we have a birthday card shape. The next step is I need to fold this top flap down to here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it down just like this, and we're going to just press it down and make a nice fold. Now this way when I open it up, I can open it up this way, or I can open it up this way. It's totally your choice. Now the first thing I want to do is trace something circular on here. So I'm going to be using this small little paint palette, and I'm just going to make a nice circle shape on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to start right here, and we're just going to draw a circle shape here. Then we're going to make another circle shape right here. That way I have a nice little circular shape. Now to make that little gold ring that Sonic is always running through, we want to start here and we're going to make another sad face here. So this one isn't going to be like as perfect as this, but we'll do our best. So we'll start right here. We're just going to draw a circular shape like this. And down here we're going to make a happy face. So we're just going to make a circular shape that goes down and comes up. And there's going to be our little gold ring. Now, after you have this drawn, then we want to open it up. And we have the two halves of our ring. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a line that's going to come up a little bit higher on each ring. So we're going to make these lines come up a little bit higher. And we do this so we don't accidentally draw down into that part when it's folded. I'm also going to take these lines and draw them down a little bit. These are a little bit easier because you can actually see where the fold is. Now inside of here I want to draw Sonic. So I'm going to start kind of right here at this little uh, fold line here and we're going to begin with his eyes. So I'm just going to start by making a little line that's just going to go down and up like this, a little smiley face. And we're going to make this line come up and down. Do the same thing here, we're going to go up and down. Starting here, let's make a small oval shape. Next, let's color this in. That's, that'll be his nose right there. Starting here, we'll draw a low line that's just going to curve down and up. And we'll draw another one here. It's going to curve down and up. Right here, let's draw a low line that's just going to come down and up for his eye. And we'll do another one here. We're just going to go down and up for like that little pupil. Then we'll make another kind of smaller skinny one in there. And we'll do one more. Leave a little bit white at the top for the eye. Starting here, let's draw a little line that's just going to come down. We'll do the same over here, just draw a little line that comes down to start his mouth. Next we're just going to draw a line that's going to go down and that's going to come up. For his mouth, let's draw a little curved line here with a small little line that comes across here. Right here, let's draw a little line that goes up and down, and another one here to kind of show where his eyebrows are. So 
Starting up here, right by the eyebrows, let's draw a line that goes out, comes to a point, and then in. For his ears, we'll do the same thing here. Out, comes to a point, and in. Next, we'll draw a little line that goes up and down. We'll draw another little line that goes up and down and over for the inside of the ear. And we'll do one here. We're going to go up, down, and then connect. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that goes out to a point and then down. We'll make another one out to a point. And then we're just going to bring it down here. We'll do the same on this side. We'll go out to a point and down, out to a point, and then come right to the face. Starting here, I'm going to draw a little line. It's going to go out. It's going to curve and come back in for his arm. Over here, we'll do the same thing. We're going to go out, curve it around, and then bring it right back in here for the arm. Next, we'll draw a little line that's just going to go down. It's going to curve around here and then come up for his body. On the end here, we'll make a little line that goes right around the end of his arm and another one over here, right around the end. Now for his thumb, let's draw a little line that's going to come up, sort of like a hook shape. We'll do that to both sides. Then we'll add a little sad face shape right here. Next, we'll draw a line that just goes right around and comes down. Do one that goes right around and comes down. Do another one here, one here, and we'll do one more here. And one more is just going to go up and then down here for his hands. Now, what I want to do is I don't want to add too much more because we will be kind of like running into some of the different areas when we keep it closed. So we want to keep that ring shape. And if I draw too much farther down, we could be running into some of those different little areas that we would see our drawing when it's closed. So one of the things I'm going to do is we'll just kind of make one of his little legs back here. So to do that, we'll just draw a little line that's just going to go down and that's going to come up. We'll make another one that goes down, and we'll bring this over. We'll draw a little line that comes around, and we'll make a little line that goes down and comes up here. Then we'll add a little line that goes around here for the bottom of his shoe. And then over here, we can add that other foot. We'll just draw a little line that goes up, come to a point, and we'll kind of bring it around. We'll draw a little line that comes around here. Then we'll just add a couple little lines that come across here. So it looks like he's really running fast. And then just make sure when you close it, you don't see anything. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to put some kind of like spiky lines around here just to make it look like it's kind of like lightning. And that way we'll just kind of fill this area in. So we'll start right up here and we're just going to make some kind of different pointy shape little lines. We'll go right to the hand. We'll make some more kind of come out this way. We're just going to make some different pointy ones. I'm going to be very careful not to go too close to that fold. And we'll just kind of add some more of these all around. Bring it right to his hand. We'll make some more of these kind of come out nice and pointy. Then we'll just make a couple pointy ones right down here. I don't want to go too far down. 
Next, we'll just kind of connect these little parts right here. And one of the last things I want to do is just draw a little circle shape right here for his stomach. And there you go, there is your drawing of your Sonic the Hedgehog surprise fold. So when you close it up, you just have one of those little gold rings that he runs through. But then when you open it, here he is blasting through there with lots of little power and lightning. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.